Hey everyone, I have something interesting and different to share with you today. There's a company called HIACT at HYACT.net. They're based in South Korea and they sent me a couple of their Aqua Brixel products for promotional purposes to check out. Now, as the name suggests, Aqua Brixel, it's based around water and specifically when you get one of these boxes, inside you will find a pair of water pumps that are lego technic compatible so you can just hook this up with the included adapter that's right there pre-installed to a regular lego technic motor they recommend that you use at least an l sized motor this is an xl that i have right here they can work with m sized motors but it's not recommended l is the best xl is even better still and right there that becomes a fully functional water pump with an in and an out and it's also reversible. These can be used with Lego pneumatic systems. You can convert from an air-based system to a water-based system. So from actual, from pneumatics to actual hydraulics. And that has more potential benefits to it, more potential pros than you may expect. It's not just about changing the fluid that you're using. You get a lot of interesting possibilities with these. So I'll show you this up closer, then I'll show you my integration with this official Lego set. Aqua Brixel pumps are built inside of crystal clear hard plastic cases that actually let you see what's going on. Inside, this white piece is just an adapter plate that snaps onto the back to allow you to connect any power functions or newer Lego Technic motor. And you just pull that off as well to see just a plain Technic axle uh, connector at the end there and the set actually even includes this small crank assembly and that allows you to use this system without having a motor so you can actually pump water you can see it's starting to bubble out one side i don't have a water source just yet but these do come pre-primed which is very useful and if you look through the side you can just see what's happening the entire rotor inside is rotating around and there are these little plungers that go up and down right against a black stationary cam. So as they go around, they're pushed up and then they spring back down. And you can run this, like I said, forward or in reverse. It works both ways much better than an impeller, a traditional impeller based system. And that adds a lot of value to this. The set also comes with a hose, just a clear hose that you can cut into. And you can also use any regular Lego Technic or Technic compatible flexible hoses. So let me finish getting this integrated in to a system with a battery and everything. I've already got the motor set up here. I'll bring you some water and show you how it works. I thought this could be fun. This is an old Lego boat hull with a couple of cargo hold inserts into it and they are watertight at least at their bases. So I cut a length of regular Lego Technic hose here just because I didn't want to use up my nice clear hose just yet and I have plenty of this. And I just hooked them up. I've got water over here. I have no water over here. And I just connected my motor with my Aqua Brixel pump on it to a rechargeable battery pack. And you don't need to use the rechargeable ones. You can use any kind that will work with these, but this is more handy for me. And let me actually, I, I ran it already. Let me actually let it go dry because I want to show you how this is able to self prime. So I've gotten most of the water out of it now. I'm just going to dip one hose. You can see where it's bubbling out right now. I'm going to dip the other one into the water side. Watch how long it takes. And there comes the water with a little bit of air. And that's just about it. That's about the rate at which it pumps, which doesn't look like very much, but I guarantee you it is plenty to operate hydraulic equipment, to operate Lego pneumatic rams and such. They really don't move a lot of volume. They just need enough pressure. And this definitely has the pressure that's needed. It's actually moving the material at a pretty decent rate. And nice thing about this, the way it's set up, if you have a variable speed system, you can slow it down. You can slow it way down. <laughs> so you can have different speeds very easily. Again, just using a single motor. And I'm now going to reverse it. And just like that, it's now pumping in the opposite direction. I let a little air in there for a second, but again, it reprimes itself. As long as the whole thing doesn't go completely dry, 
you'd need to completely dry the interior of this to get it to, to require some manual repriming. Basically, you just blow some water through it, you know, through your, through your mouth. But that's it. That's how it works. Let me also show you how it works manually. So using that same motor, I'm just going to hook up the included little crank here. I don't remember which direction is which. I'll find out momentarily. Yeah, it looks like I'm going the wrong direction, so I'll just go this way. Well, it's not particularly stable here, but yep, there we go. Out comes the water. And like I said, it doesn't look like much is being moved, but it's enough to do some serious work. So speaking of doing serious work, let me show you how this works in an actual Lego set. So this is an official Lego Technic set. It's the Volvo EW160E wheeled excavator, which I've reviewed in its stock form, but I've modified this one. I took out all of the pneumatic related pumps and valves and all the, the piping and tubing for that and put in instead three power functions motors and two controllers, two uh, receivers and speed controllers that I'm using these two remotes with. These two remotes are just connected together. And then each of the three motors that are in there are attached to one of these Aqua Brixel uh, pumps. So it is on now. And well, first of all, yeah, just a quick demonstration of its power. <laughs> you see it's able to lift the weight of the thing quite a bit. So this is right from the start, one of the advantages of this system is that it can develop quite a bit of pressure and it has quite a bit of power. And another one of the advantages, which I'll show you more closely in a minute, is the packaging of it. You're able to put a lot of functionality into a small space. So with the pneumatic system, in order to get this to be running all these different functions fully remotely, I would need to have at least a dedicated pump and then different motors, which could be full-on motors or servo motors, controlling all the different functions via valves. But here, three motors, and I'm basically done because the Aqua Brixels pump is very small. Uh, so you've got strength, you've got small packaging, you've got the ability to do multiple things at once, and they're all on different channels. They can all be independently operated and with you know more motors in this i could get it so that the whole turntable is able to rotate you could probably motorize the base of it as well but those things don't require pneumatics or hydraulics there's only one downside uh, one downside of this whole system that i've been able to notice so far in in testing this and that is that the whole thing does have a little bit of water bypass in each of the pumps so you may notice i don't know it might be going a little bit too slow for you to notice right now but it is just slowly starting to relax, whereas the stock pneumatic system with, with air would lock into place for much longer. That did have a little bit of seepage in it as well, but this has a little bit more. So especially if you have some weight on there, it'll start to, let me see if I can get this all the way up. And this is just the, the normal speed running on a AA battery box that I've got down in the base. So if I put some pressure on this with no input, it is able to bypass. So the, the water is actually bypassing the pump just so slightly, so it's bringing it down. There are no leaks in this system. And that's one thing that was definitely uh, a lot easier and a lot simpler and a lot less messy than I expected when I was installing everything, was that th there's, there were no leaks <laughs> whatsoever. The Lego system, as it is already, with all their connectors and their cylinders, they're all very well sealed. Uh, so all I had to do was just pump water into the system, get the air out, plug the hoses in together, and then I was good to go. That was really it. Now, one last potential concern I want to address here is about the metal shaft of each of these large uh, Lego pneumatic cylinders. We're pumping water into the cylinder, so there could be a concern about rust. And I, I specifically asked the manufacturer about that. They said it's not a concern it's not something that you really need to worry about and the reason for that is that lego really lubricates these very well and that's in order to get them to be airtight so this is completely covered with a fairly heavy grease i did 
Search around though to see if there are any early testers or other users of the Aquabrixel system who have had any issues with Rust. I found one person who may have gotten an early test unit who said that after leaving their unit uh, just stationary, not even using it for some number of months, they did notice a slight tinge of orange in the water. So there was some rust somewhere, uh, but ever so slight. And granted, I don't know the age of that person's hydraulic cylinder. It may have been rather old and worn out, lost its lubrication. But I would recommend that if you are going to let this type of system sit for multiple months, just drain it. Just get the, the water out of it. Open up these cylinders if you can. Just let them dry out, you know, just for the sake of peace of mind. Short to medium term, it really doesn't seem like a major issue. So that's Aqua Brixel from Hiact. I recommend that if you're interested in this system at all, definitely check out Hiact.net. Look for other people's tests of this system, other fans who have tried it out. Check out their official videos. And I'll also link in the video description to some places where you can buy these for yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Hiact for sending me these for the sake of promotional purposes for this video. And I will talk to you again very soon.